Hey guys, OneClo here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really great day. In today's video, do I want to show you a couple of new boards that I do got and just want to talk to you a little bit about them. So let's get started and right into it. As you can see, I do have a couple of boards here and uh, let's start by this one. Yeah, so this one obviously looks like fire. It's amazing. And I did get this from a lovely viewer of this YouTube channel who said it's just gorgeous and he just wants to share this with you and uh, or with me. And uh, he sent me one over. As you do see, a couple of parts are already sorted or pre-assembled on this board. Let me quickly focus this on here. There we go. So we do see most of the smaller components are already placed. U9 is sadly not placed and this will be a little bit messy as well. Like coil is no problem and all the other components are usually not a problem. I will do definitely a video in the future about soldering this one. So expect a video on live stream about this one somewhere in the future. I, I'm not sure when I do have the time to do so, uh, but yeah, just the fact that it is this fiery red and that you can take a look on, on the copper here in the inside, oh, it's, it's so beautiful, don't you think so? And with these golden accents on there as well, this is just a beauty. I love it, I love it. So thanks again to this community member who sent them over to me. It, it's just lovely. It's uh, definitely needed. And uh, it's always good to see new things come up and even if it is just a change of the board and uh, it's just a beauty. So yeah, this is, this is one thing that I wanted to show you. And uh, yeah, as I said, expect a video about the soldering of this bit X somewhere in the future. Now let's talk about this big boy. Probably some of you have already seen this board on my X account. And if not, just hop over to X or to Noster and follow me over there. I do post pictures of new stuff that I do receive regularly. And this one here is one of these things. So what is this? This is the 0xAX. And what is this? <laughs> Basically, it's a better iteration of the QX, PiX, whatever, with 16A6 on it. So this beauty here can hit like a truck with eight terahash. Uh, they said we're sitting at roughly 180 to 200 watts. So the power consumption is not, um, is not bad. Uh, it could be better, but it's not bad. It's definitely in terms of the joule per terahash section of these chips. On here, you will place the BM1366 chip so uh, not the newer one, not the one that you do see from the Supra or from yeah, the, the S21. This will be still the one from the S19 XP or S19 K, but still lovely. And you do see plenty of components that we need to place here. And one feature thing or one major thing about this PCB is it's not the same as a bit X. And despite the fact having the word X in it, it is not a standalone device. What you do need is a USB cable. And on top here, you do see uh, there are the pins for the USB-C connector. So you need something like a Raspberry Pi or your computer to run the Pi Miner software. Links to this in the video description down below. And uh, then you can run this. Obviously you also need like a really, really big heat sink because this beauty will put out so much heat. I'm not really sure if I can find parts for this especially with the heating, but I mean, it, it must be, right? It must be. So uh, I'll definitely dive into this and I'll definitely update you about the 0x aches, where to get those files and where to basically get all these components because there are plenty of them. Luckily, the sizing of these components is, is pretty big. As you do, you can see, uh, not that many of these tiny pins that we do use to see on the bit aches. Uh, a couple more on the back and uh, this is probably terrific here the back side but still it's 0802 component size so we are talking about something that you can literally place by hand so yeah it, i mean it's a bummer isn't it it's definitely needed to say this because this beautiful board does have big components 
and it prolongs with, with the same approach that the pi x did, the q x did, the mod x did, and so on. It uses bigger components and it uses them for the sake of just being able to solder this at home. Uh, the, the bit X is fine and it does work like expected, everything is all wide with it. It's just to say that a couple of people need something that they can actually do at home. And with this board, obviously you will have issues probably, like soldering everything here on them. It's not an easy task, but it is doable. And I will do a video about soldering this PD. I mean, I, I have to. I said to you guys that I will never do a bit X hex here on my channel. Reason being is I don't want to dive into the small components that are used on a bit X hex. And they're totally fine. They are brilliant if we are talking about components that you do use for, a, let's say, in an industrial standpoint. You do have industrial components, tools that you can use for that. But with the, the zero XX and here I do have the QX with just one ASIC here. You, you see these parts are way, way better. See that? These parts are way better when it comes to soldering at home. There's still plenty of them on here. And uh, this QX here runs off of 12 volts. The zero XX runs off of five volts. And then the fans do run on 12 volts, I believe. Um, not really sure, I need to dive into this a little bit. I've seen some weird pictures of the assembly of a power supply to this unit. So let me dive into this and I probably need to order myself a couple new cables that are thick enough to actually power this beauty here. But 200 watts, boy, 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 boy. This is gonna be hard for five volt power supply. So let me see if I do can find anything that is actually suitable or able to power this beauty but yeah i just quickly wanted to show this to you guys i just wanted to give you an update it's needed to say that new things are always coming out osmu is a movement it never stops it's a community for all of us and with these intelligent people in there we do have so much more to explore i do thank you guys for watching today's video i do hope that you like it and that you're as hyped as i am about the zero x eggs and a potential mind-bending video or live stream of myself trying to solve everything in here and just going crazy but yeah until then thanks for watching don't forget to give me a subscribe and a like to this video so i do know that you enjoyed this content and i will produce more about this thanks for being here and see you in the next one